Guys, today I am going to show you not one, but two absolutely insane fractals. And if history repeats like they did previously, you are in for a massive ride for your altcoins for Bitcoin and Ethereum, guys. So I will also talk about what I see happening for Bitcoin on the shorter time frames. I will talk about one major key event that is about to happen, which is going to once again unlock trillions of dollars into the crypto space so make sure to stick around from the beginning until the end of this video guys welcome back everybody my name is chris bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day teaching you how to make money in this market if you're new to the channel then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now so let's get straight into it guys and what you can see again on the four hourly time frame is that we are still below the key level right here at seventy thousand dollars so we're below this key level we've been trying to break through this since actually my video yesterday trying to break through this haven't been able to do so it's that we find ourselves still under this so we're struggling with it but everything is still fine here in my opinion guys i am not ruling out a major move for bitcoin but i am also not concerned if we see a little bit of a longer consolidation in within this range here so that is all fine now if we look at what bitcoin has been doing here the last few days okay it might seem like it's pretty boring but there is actually a couple of very important fractals happening right now which i am going to show you first for ethereum since trying to break through the three thousand six hundred and eighty dollar level we have been trending downwards so this is important when it comes to what i'm going to show you for the next few charts for bitcoin and ethereum so let us start with ethereum and this is on the weekly time frame and this is a crazy one because you can see on the weekly time frame we went up and made a all-time high here in 2018 since then we went below and we went below the blue line which is actually the uh, 50 week moving average went below it slightly from this point we found support and we had a little bit of a bounce and then we broke through this particular point also we broke through the green line which is the 100 week moving average went down bear market happened and you can see that we consolidated in within this kind of wedge formation here went up to the previous previous support now became resistance got rejected off of this level went down continued to create this kind of wedge or this upwards trending um, support level right here and this is the key point look at the rsi rsi is moving into a channel right here this is in 2019 2020 so this takes place during years guys and uh, yeah you can see that we then have a cross a bullish cross of the 50 and the 100 week moving average we have this little bit of a consolidation before we have a massive pump we go up to the previous point of control you can see the previous support right here previous resistance we break through it we come back we make this support again on the way down and then we just go into this parabolic channel towards the upside okay so this is what happened between 2018 and 2021 now let's look at where we are at right now so again we made a new all-time high for ethereum at 4805 and then enter the bear market we come down we break below this blue line just like we did right here slightly below it we find the support level which then becomes the top of this wedge but we have a bounce from this point just like we had a bounce from this point right here again we start to come down we break through it towards the downside just like we did here bounce and then breaking through it towards the downside break through the 100 week moving average this green line and then we find support right here start to create this wedge on the way up again we come up to the previous point in which we found support of of get rejected from this point just like we did right here went up to the previous point of support get rejected right here once again go down and start to consolidate and find support of this upwards trending uh, line right here and then look at this guys we break through the we have the bullish cross right here we break through the previous support uh or sorry yeah the previous support and now turn into resistance we break through it we consolidate above this we make this support just like you saw right here and look at the rsi structure also looking very very similar this rsi structure and this rsi structure and then are we going to go into the same parabolic move as you saw the last time guys this is 
extremely interesting. This fractal is looking really, really similar to what you saw right here in 2018 and in 2021, actually all, all the way up to the previous all-time high here, or actually the current all-time high. So very, very nice chart for Ethereum. And guys, if Ethereum goes into such a pump like this, and what, does the, what is the price targets here? Well, uh, about $20,000. Max target at, yeah, about $20,000. Realistic target, 8,500. Realistic target, I would say about $10,000 for Ethereum here on this move alone. So if history is any indication of what's to come, guys, then you could see Ethereum go on a massive move. And just imagine what this is going to do to your altcoins. If Ethereum goes on a massive run like this, it is going to drag the entire altcoin market along with it. So be prepared for a massive move for Ethereum. But I want to know, this is on the weekly time frame, so this is going to take place during multiple years, potentially. But I wanna know, do you think that we could see something like this happen for Ethereum? Let me know down in the comment section. Guys, I am not done there. What I want to show you is another fractal for Bitcoin. And th these two were also posted originally by TradingShot, both of these ones, a massive shout out to TradingShot. And uh, what you can see is a fractal between Bitcoin on the four hourly time frame. And then you have the S&P 500 traditional markets on the weekly time frame. Now, we know that the S&P 500 moves slower than Bitcoin. Bitcoin moves quicker. So that's why it kind of makes sense to look at Bitcoin on shorter time frames and the S&P 500 on longer time frames because it just moves slower. Either way, four hourly on the Bitcoin and the weekly on the traditional markets. And look at these fractals. They look absolutely crazily identical. Okay, so on the S&P 500, we break through this blue line. Again, the 50 period moving average, the, in this case, the 50 week moving average. We have the all time high right here, actually in 2021 bear market, we go down, we break through this one, we have a bearish megaphone, which means that we are consolidating in this pattern right here, we find support finally, of, of the 200 week moving average, this orange line right here. We find support and from this point, momentum starts to shift and we start to go up. Now, let's look at Bitcoin on the four hourly. Again, bull, uh, bearish megaphone pattern going down here, breaking through the 50, the 100, but then finding that massive bounce of, of the 200 uh, moving average on the four hourly time frame. And look at the RSI, also looking very, very similar. So look at this, guys. We are about to have a bullish cross right here. And what happened when we saw the bullish cross for the S&P 500? We saw this bullish cross right here. Look at the RSI. We had a pullback of the RSI and then the bullish cross and then we went absolutely parabolic here. We've had a pullback on the RSI channel right here. We're about to have a bullish cross and potentially this action towards the upside like this uh, bullish um, yeah, this, this bullish fractal, this parabolic move towards the upside also for Bitcoin. So do you think, it's looking very, very similar, guys, but do you think that this could happen for Bitcoin? That would mean, if you just look at the targets we have here, S&P 500 went up to the 1.382 Fibonacci level um, after this bullish cross right here. Now, that would be for Bitcoin at about $78,000. And well, call it about $80,000, which is very, very close actually to the target I have here at $83,000 as a major target. So maybe we go up, we wick up to this point, but then we come down and close ultimately um, at the Fibonacci level right here at 78, 79. What do you think, guys? This would mean that it could happen somewhere in, well, it's a four hourly time frame. So it is essentially telling us that this is potentially going to happen within like a week, maybe like one week, two weeks, maybe. Um, is it possible for Bitcoin to pump from $70,000 to $78,000 in two weeks? It's absolutely possible. In fact, we have seen this before. In fact, just look at this pump from $60,000 up to $71,000. This took place during not even 10 days. Okay. So it is definitely possible for us to have that kind of pump. But now, just like with the Ethereum fractal, guys, I want to know, do you think that it is possible for us to have this pump for Bitcoin? Let me know down in the comment section. Finally, what I want to show you guys is first traditional markets. Nothing has happened because these ones are closed right now. I think, I don't know if they are closed for holidays, but potentially they will open up tomorrow, Sunday evening or Monday evening or Tuesday. I have to double check that depending on the Easter holidays, but 
yeah, traditional markets are still, you know, going sideways here. In fact, nothing has happened since Thursday because they, they have been closed. But this is how they're looking. Just a reminder, they're not looking too bad. Now, one important thing to take note of. There is additional sources expecting the Bitcoin ETF approvals at Morgan Stanley in the next 7 to 10 days. So what does this mean? Well, Morgan Stanley holds $1.5 trillion in client assets. Essentially what it means is that clients from Morgan Stanley will be able to buy Bitcoin through their brokerage accounts on this bank. And also, it means that the financial advisors working for Morgan Stanley, they will be able to recommend people to buy Bitcoin. Again, $1.5 trillion in client assets. So it is a big deal, guys. And uh, you can see there are some internal documents here saying that uh, some people see Bitcoin as digital gold. And this is most likely how they are going to try to promote this. Bitcoin is a, this is from Morgan Stanley's own wealth management uh, kind of uh, slides here. So Bitcoin is seen as digital gold. And they try to talk about what Bitcoin actually is and what it means and why they should invest. So again, everything is lining up here, guys, for more upside for Bitcoin. I am not selling my Bitcoin. My trading strategies are still doing a fantastic job at trading back and forth. So that is all good. And if you want to use my trading strategies, by the way, guys, make sure to go down to the description of this video. Sign up for OKEx where I'm using this one or BitGet. So you can claim up to $60,000 using this link right here and up to $40,000 using this link right here on BitGet. And then watch my trading tutorial at the top of the description right here to understand what it is all about. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.